It's time to do a wheelchair rights report for the Salvation Army in Chilliwack. Yeah, if you're in a wheelchair, you may as well give up on the idea of ever coming over here. And I'll show you how bad this is. So, they have a soup kitchen here every day at lunchtime. They have a food bank. And there's only two food banks in Chilliwack, and this is one of them. And this place is, uh, is not downtown. It's actually pretty far. If you use a wheelchair to come over here, you're going to kill your battery by the time you get here. You, you're lucky if you get back to downtown. They provide uh, handicapped parking spots. And I'm going to show you how bad this is. This is place is completely not accessible for wheelchairs. So they provide a handicapped parking spots. If you come over here in a wheelchair, there's no way to get in the building. I'm doing a video report. It's impossible for me to get in this building. So, this is what you encounter. You, you have handicapped parking. I came down here one day with my uh, car, with my walker, and I still couldn't get in the building. So where they have the soup kitchen here is in the back. I'll show you. So what they have is they have uh, these signs here. They have these stairs. You guys work here? Do you work here? Yeah. You need to do something about this major problem. I'm doing a video report because uh, this place is completely not accessible for wheelchairs. Right no, no, no. I was over there knocking on the door. Nobody's answering. It's impossible for it's me to... It's closed for lunch? The door... You know what? You need to put up signs telling people what they need to do for wheelchairs. You need to show a, an entrance for wheelchairs, like a logo on the door, so I know which way to go in. I came here before, and I couldn't get in the building when I had my walker, okay? Because there's no way for me to know. What I'm going to do, stare at the building? I'm, very, I'm videotaping this right now, right? Wait, wait for it to be opened. You know what? You need to have instructions on your door saying which door is the entrance for wheelchairs. First of all, you don't even have that. I have no way of knowing how to get in here. I've asked people. I was over there. I knocked on the door. A man opened the door. I said, can you please let them know I'm out here? Nobody even came out. Okay? There's no way for me to know how to get into this building for any of the disabled people. This is not, a, you should have a well, sign we've here. here. We've been here for 33 years. I don't care how long you've been here. I'm telling you. Well, then someone's got to tell you because I'm doing it right now. I'm doing a video report. You're not even listening to me. No wonder it's been going on for 30 years. It's so funny. Eh? I'm going to put this on you YouTube. I'm going to put this on YouTube. I was already in the front twice I've been here. Okay. What do you, you want to come and show me how to get in the building? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, lots of handicap parking, which is kind of useless. Why is it useless? Because I came over here with my walker. I, I barely can walk, and I couldn't get in the building. I'm way downtown living in my car. I can't drive my car anymore. And I can't come up here for the soup kitchen. It's too far. So do you see a sign anywhere telling me what this is? Do you this see a sign? office. How do I know that I'm supposed to get in there? Not only that, how do I open that door? How do I open it? How do I let them know I'm out here? Okay. Answer my questions. How do I open the door? Good question. And how do I let them know I'm out here Good needing question. help? Exactly. That's why I told you I can't get in your but building. There's all kinds of people that are hanging around that could have let you in. I've already talked to different people. Nobody knows it either. Nobody knows how all, it works. All the, these guys here. Are they disabled? All these guys. You need to it. stop making excuses and you need to listen to what I'm telling you, okay? You're not to me. I'm going to put this on YouTube. You're not no, you're the one not listening. I'm not, I'm you're the no. one not listening. I can't get in your building. You need a doorbell on there at least for me to let them know I'm out here. Are you going to let me talk? You're the one that has to listen. He's smiling. You're going to look like a nitty when I put you on YouTube. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Here's the entrance right here. You need to put a doorbell on there so they know I'm out here because I can't open that door. I can't open the door. Are you listening? Are you listening? You're the one not listening. I can't open the door. I can't get into your building. There's not even a sign saying that's a wheelchair entrance. Okay, can I tell you something? No, you're not going to tell me anything. You don't want to listen. I hate people telling you what to... I told them. I come over here with a wheelchair. How does anybody in a wheelchair know how to get in the building? Is there a sign telling me where to go in? There isn't. I said, do you have a doorbell there? No. I said, do you, have a, do you have a button to open that door? I can't even get in the building. I came here twice before. There was nobody out here, and I had to leave because I had no way to get in.
I was here again today going around asking people, how do I get in this building? And this idiot tells me that you guys are supposed to know. I said, you need to put a sign on your door telling me how to get in. Or at least put a doorbell. And he's sitting laughing at me. Oh, we've never had a problem in 30 years as well. It's about time somebody tells you. <laughs> yeah. Really? So I told him, I'm videotaping it and I'm going to put you on YouTube. You're going to look really stupid smiling and laughing at me. Big waste of time. Me coming all the way up here from downtown who's sucking up my batteries. Take care, guys. At least I got to enjoy my rant. Make him look like an idiot. Put him on YouTube. That's how bad it is, eh? Put a doorbell in for wheelchairs so they know I'm out here. I knocked on the door over there. The guy answers. I said, can you let him know I'm out here? Nobody came out. Dumb, eh? Impossible to get in with a wheelchair. Stupid people don't even want to listen. Really. I've never been here before. Anybody in a wheelchair will leave and never come back because they can't get in the building. Oh, they don't know where to go. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I told them. I said, put up a sign. Tell me which way I'm supposed to go in. Yeah. And I already knocked on the door over there. It says office. Why would I want to go in the office? That's not the food bank. That's not the soup kitchen. That's the office. I know you know, but I've never been in the building, right? I don't know how this place works. Yeah. But I said to him, you have to at least have a doorbell so you know the heck I'm sitting out there trying to get in. Or put a power door in. Anyway, I wasted my time coming up here. You take care. And now you know what it's like to be disabled. You have to deal with stupid people that don't want to listen. And I'm talking about the guy that was laughing at me that works at the Salvation Army. Oh, we never had a problem for 30 years. You've always had a problem. You just never listened to anyone. And this, this entrance here... This entrance here, if you get into that entrance, I notice by looking through the window that there's food in there. And they have a, a food bank, which I can't get into. So they have bread and different things. And, and that ramp is not quite wide enough. But there's no power door. There's no way for me to open that door. So there you go. There's my wheelchair rights report for the Salvation Army in Chilliwack, which is one of the only two food banks they have. Go to wheelchairrights.wordpress.com to see a lot more reports. So the, this guy that I was talking to came back out here and the security guy was talking to me. I want to put all the blame on me and I told him, I said, for people that have never been here before, you need to be able to tell them how to get in the building if they're in a wheelchair. And he just kept laughing and thinking it's a big joke. And I said to him, what does your sign say over there? It says soup kitchen hours, 12 to 1, and it says uh, entrance at rear building. He puts all the blame on me. I said, you need to have a sign telling people in wheelchairs how to get in. He doesn't have that. I told him I already talked to different people here trying to figure out how to get in this building and nobody knew. And he said, well, that guy knew because a guy came in with a wheelchair. I said, that's because he's been here before. So now this idiot here figured he's going to call the police on me. So you can hear the cops coming. So I guess I'll have a conversation with them. No, maybe not. So I drove, I drove my wheelchair all the way down here from downtown. Used up half my battery power more than half my battery power so the rest of the day I'm not gonna have any power in my wheelchair this place is too far for me to come to anyway and um, he just kept laughing and smiling he said, are you gonna listen to me I said you're the one that's not listening I don't need to have you repeat yourself and tell me again the same thing well all you have to do is go to the back of the building and uh, go talk to the lady and show how somebody come around open the door for you I said there was no lady back there so anyway, I'm never coming back over to the Salvation Army. This is just an extension of my, uh, my previous report that I just did. I'm going to put these two reports together. Thank you for watching. WheelchairRights.wordpress.com